because you have to be legal. So give us some of those tips and tricks on how does somebody can get make sure that they're legitimate when it times to kind of start collecting money, start advertising themselves. Yeah, no, I mean it's just as simple as just having your EIN, you know, having your own filing with the IRS. You know, these are some of the things that like some of the artists had like no idea about, you know. And I didn't have any idea about either, you know, when I was younger either. So, you know, just kind of the things that I've taught myself over the years, but just showing them like okay, like you need to file an EIN. You need to figure out how you want to classify your business. Do you want an LLC? Are you a sole proprietor? Um, kind of just those simple things, teaching them the difference between those things. Um, from there, do you do you have any sort of basic accounting going on? Do you know how to use a spreadsheet? Um, you know, are you know how to make a profit and loss statement? Um, do you know how to, you know, are you filing taxes? Because if you're not doing those things, when all these artist grants and things come up, which a lot did come up during the pandemic, those were all of the paperwork and things you needed to have in order in order to be eligible for those things. Um, so just, those are just some examples of, um, of some of the things I'll do, like a workshop with the members when I'll, you know, we'll be on Zoom and I'll have, you know, documents and I'll share my screen with people and kind of just walk them through the processes of different types of avenues of doing business. Um, the other cool thing about the membership is that we have members that also have great skills beyond what I have, because I don't know everything, right? So we have people that yep. that um, also will lead workshops. So we just had one of our members, um, Vanita, she's awesome. She, she teaches financial literacy to um, people of color specifically. That's like her mission. And she's also an artist. Um, and so she led a workshop just on basic accounting, just so people could kind of learn how to use a, learn how to use a spreadsheet and learn how to budget, you know, learn how to, you know, just literally just simple things that, um, I feel like we may take for granted if we know how to do that, like, you know, other people have never been exposed to these things because like you said, they're artists, they're in their creative lane. They're not worried about that other stuff, you know? So yep. we want to create, you know, a space where they can kind of be well-rounded in all aspects. Absolutely. And that's the thing. I mean, like I said, man, a lot of artists, they just they like to create. They don't know anything about the business side They And then they're necessarily their their art. Sometimes I've seen it where artists kind of create something and their art get out there. And that's a good thing. And there's also a bad thing because it's not right. copyrighted or anything like that. And you, it ends up selling somebody selling it at Walmart or somebody copyrighted and they're selling it on your behalf. Well, not on your behalf. They're selling it, making money yeah. off your art. And you don't you own it. You think you own it, but you don't necessarily you don't necessarily own it right. legally. Because once it's out there and you haven't put your stamp on or anything like that, then you have to try to go and try and get money back. It's just a long, hard road. But that's why I want you to kind of talk about that up front to kind of get artists in the mindset that say, hey, you are a business yourself. Create your stuff like you're supposed to in the beginning and you can kind of save yourself the headache on the back end. And so one of the other things.